Thank you everyone for joining us. We have a very special Metra story today. Uh, today is Guy Kawasaki picking up his Peace Fan number two. two. Number two. Um, and before we start, I I I'm sure everyone has a Guy Kawasaki story. <laughs> I hope a lot not. of people do. <laughs> no, I, most of them do. So mine goes back to, oh my God, I got to go back to, like I graduated college in 91. It was, must have been, I think it was right after grad school. So it must have been 96. And as a startup in the Bay Area, and you're running this thing called garage.com, yep. where you're like interviewing startups and yep. bringing them into your fold. And I mean, you don't remember it, but you actually made it, we actually made it into your program. So we were in your program, and, um, and then I went on to do like Java middleware stuff, and then I worked at Microsoft, and now I'm uh, uh, owning and operating and selling Peace Fans. And when you called, like, had you, like, how did you even find us? Like, I don't even know. It was like, probably, well, I was a, you're in the Mercedes ambassador yeah, I was program, a Mercedes so Benz brand it. ambassador. And I wanted something that I could stick a 10 foot board inside. Mm -hmm. So I would go to my Mercedes Benz dealer in San Carlos, Autobahn oh, yeah. Motors, uh -huh, give a little yeah, plug yeah, for yeah. them. Yeah. And I would take boards, <laughs> stick them in the, stick them in the E350 <laughs> wagon, <laughs> stick them in the GLS, right, yeah, yeah, stick yeah. them in the GLE. G yeah, yeah. And then I said, you know, this is crazy. It's gotta I mean, be something. And then, so then, the official like upfitting program started, uh -huh. right? And I said, well, so this is a way I can get an upfitted Mercedes that maintains. The factory warranty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is a huge advantage. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to pull into a Mercedes dealer and, you know, the uh, first excuse right. they give is, well, we can't work on it because, you know, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You change the roof. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I just reached out to you because, you know, that's what I do. Well, yeah, I was going to say, that. <laughs> I just said that. That's what you do. Yeah, and I was like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. Guy Kawasaki wants a van. Yeah. So and we built a van for you and you we did. got it. and. I mean, is it what you thought, what you wanted? Has it been useful? I is would it say it has certainly exceeded my expectations. You know, good news, bad news. Uh, I have three boys and a girl, and they are... Is that the good news or bad news? No, I'm coming to <laughs> both. <laughs> I get your mattress, and I, you know, being the warm, accommodating dad that I am, I let them all drive it, well, except for the 16-year-old. Yeah. And then this 25-year-old, he's into wingsuiting and windsurfing and, you know, kite surfing and free diving and all that. And so he just kind of moseyed his way into it. <laughs> and so now he, like, uses it all the time. And that's when I decided, well, what are mom and I going to do when we want to use it? Yeah. Right? So that's when I decided we just buy another one. Right. And that's why I'm here today. Awesome. So guys picking up number two <laughs> van. Uh, like, like, is it mostly for surfing or road tripping or do you, is it a daily driver for, well, not Abby, your son well, drives it. Well, <laughs> um, where I live in Santa Cruz, I don't really need to drive much. It'll be for day trips. I'm not into, quote, van life. No, no, <laughs> okay, no. I, and a lot of our customers aren't. That's kind of one of the So, yeah, I'm not looking to go of off niche. the grid and travel yeah, across uh -huh. Route 66. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. yeah, let yeah. me be frank. But my wife discovered a service where... Apparently, there's a whole string of wineries yeah. that let you stay in their parking lot for free, and you're supposed to go in and buy a case of wine. A, a <laughs> bottle or two is enough at most Okay, of okay, them. a bottle yeah. or two. Uh -huh. And so she signed up for that, and I guess we're just going to make the wine tour of America uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and sleep in parking lots. So if you're at a winery and you see this see, And you car, see the van. It's me. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it's, it's Harvest Host. It's a very popular service. That's it. They do golf courses, too. And there's all, there's all sorts of, there's Hip Camp, which is like Airbnb for private land. So you can stay in all sorts of unique camping situations. Oh, yeah? where you're not like at a state park with, yeah, that's really cool. Uh -huh. Camping's changing like a lot. And I think having a van like this really allows you to experience it well, more. Well, see, to, to me, this is just the perf, we have an Odyssey, uh -huh. okay? But an Odyssey. Oh, that's right, you sent me pictures. Yeah. Of the toilet in the back. <laughs> the so toilet's the, like a, a toilet seat so on a Home Depot bucket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so the, the Odyssey is not big enough uh -huh. to really sleep in, Yeah. right? And then I considered a sprinter, but a sprinter, that's, a, lot like of a, van. that's a whole it's leap a lot forward, of van. takes yeah. up two spaces, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's harder yeah. to drive, it's, I don't know, I'm yeah. not like, yeah. 
And I don't, I don't want to spend a quarter million bucks yeah. either. So this is perfect. I can sell this for you. So it sleeps two on the bottom, uh -huh. two on the top. I've not, I've not trained yeah. him, by the way. It's two on the organic. bottom, two on the top. So four people. <laughs> there are a multitude of USB plugs. And if you have the auxiliary electric system, then there's that humongous battery, which is larger than any battery you're getting from Anchor. <laughs> So you can just be charged all the time and you cover all the windows. This is a 21 model. Yeah. So this has uh, electric doors. CarPlay, CarPlay, CarPlay yeah, or CarPlay. Android Auto. And I love matte finish. So I have a matte finished hood and mm -hmm. a matte finished roof. Yeah. And the roof has, you can see two racks because yep. there, there will be times where I have to sacrifice my boards to for your my family. Yeah. So my family. <laughs> so, you know, family boards, family, I guess that's, I know, the, I could, that's the perpetual surfer I could, conundrum, right? I could strap my family to the you roof. Could. I mean, I, they're outside. <laughs> I saw them. The boys, <laughs> the boys look hardy enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have to tell you that a lot of times we take it to some scenic spots, open all the doors and the back, open up the table and work. Yeah. I mean, it's the ultimate, yeah. you know. It really is. So I think I mean, there is the van life crowd, which is extreme. Mm -hmm. There's the weekend wimpy crowd like me. Mm -hmm. There's the take it for a day trip, work at a beautiful surrounding with your, you know, mm -hmm. five ton little battery that's never yeah. going to run out of power. No, not for that day. Yeah, Yeah, not for that day. So yeah, no, that is spot. that is the audience. It's we talk a lot about. Oh, well, a Sprinter, and the Sprinter's just so much van. Oh, God. And a lot of our customers, you're fortunate you don't daily drive much, but for a lot of our customers, they are trading in their Odyssey. They're like, oh, I don't need two van. Well, you need two. Now it sounds like you have three vans. But, like, you know, so it becomes a daily driver. This is easily yeah. a daily driver. Yeah. Oh, easily. So, anyways, this, you know, Guy's already had his, his Metris. Um, <laughs> this is so much fun. We were thrilled when you called for number two. Uh, we were chatting before we shot the video. We actually have two other families that are getting a second van. Um, the exception, I don't think anyone watching this should think, oh my God, am I going to end up with a second van? <laughs> Definitely an exception. But really, it's, like, it's so much fun to uh, you know, meet you face to face after 20 plus years uh, to you know, give you a van. It feels a, little, feels a little full circle for me trying to <laughs> pitch my startup to you 25 years ago and now you're driving away in one of my vans. And who would have thought, huh? I know, right? All right, well, thank you, Guy. Thank really you. fun. Thank, thank you, everyone, for joining.